Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pierre Rendrani from Autodesk and today we're going to talk about cut line, shut lines and accelerated surface. So here I have a sub D data and I have a curve that shows me where I want to cut this sub D data to have a, a part line. Uh, if you try to do this with the Boolean and another package, sometimes you'll get something that looks like this. So you have a lot of points you get the shape you get a lot of points and obviously this is not really a very desirable surface so ideally what you want to do is definitely use the lever and leverage the alias data and the capabilities of alias you could also you could cut this uh, mesh if you wanted to but again you will lose in precision so really the best way to get this cut line into your data is to just project it directly and use drafts and rads and so on and so forth, combining subdivisional data with classic alias tools. So if I look at what this shut line is, it's actually on a plane. It's a planar, which is fine. So here I'm going to actually go ahead and say surface. I'm going to say, let's uh, draft this. So I draft it upwards and I can increase that or I can just say, let's just extend this forward like so and uh, I could also do the same thing with uh, the other curve so let's like do this and extend this up so extend okay yes that's fine so I'm gonna copy this data set paste it and make it invisible so use it for later I'm gonna use the outside as well make it invisible use it for later so now is my inside cut line and those are four millimeters apart so i'm just gonna go ahead and assign this to this layer the blue layer i'm gonna say okay pick this and intersect with the sub d data which is here obviously this is a longer so i'm gonna say object edit i'm gonna say detach and i'm gonna detach to control alt here actually let me cut it first probably easier so if i say trim sub d select and that's good turn my cvs off now i can say all right let's go ahead and detach this surface at this junction so Control alt and i can snap to this edge here take this surface here delete it and then trim this flange and i have a nice easy intersection now i can say go ahead and do a surface fillet of 10 that's fine Let's have a look. So I'm facing inward, that's fine. And a, you know, a 10 chordal of an arc. That's uh, a nice and uh, a nice and easy parting line at this juncture here. So if I make everything visible again, so now I have the inside that I have to trim. So if I say, okay, make everything invisible again, assign everything to this layer. If I say intersect this sub D data with this skin here, and again, I'm gonna trim the inside, I'm gonna keep the inside. And here I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and detach. Control Alt, detach this here, pick this surface. This surface, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the CVs off, pick objects, CVs off, and trim this, okay. And then surface, fill it again, a coral of 10. Make sure the radii are looking at each other. Okay. And it gives me this radius here. So all in all, I have my first, you know, classic uh, parting line and rad. Obviously in more in, the, you know, more production oriented surfacing, you would have a draft, but right here we're in sub D's, we're in cast, so it's not a big deal. I want to see what my rad and what this uh, gap would look like roughly at this stage. So right now it looks it looks like that. So pretty classic. Okay. So now I'm gonna on the other side I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use the accelerated surface. So I'm gonna copy these things. I'm gonna flip them over, and I'm gonna assign these to this layer and make the blue layer invisible. Okay. To demonstrate the accelerated surface, I uh, isolated the 
flanges and put them on another stage. So here we can see we have a four mil gap between those two flanges. So we're back to hard intersection. Okay, so I'm gonna isolate this surface to show you the accelerated surface. So I'm gonna do it on this side for now. So if I go accelerate surface, and right now the length is 30 and minus two. So and also it's back to a form factor of one. So what does that mean? If I click this edge here, then you can see it, the accelerated surface in action. So this length here is now 30 mils. And this distance between the where the surface used to be and the down flange is two mils. So that's what the acceleration, this is where the acceleration happens between 30 and two in this region with a form factor here of one. So if I created this, I could actually increase the form factors. For this case, I'll just go two. So here we have a nice acceleration of two. You can see how you're just going to dive towards the, the parting line. So let's go back and now let's do it on the correct side. So if I click here, I'm going to ask for a chain select. So from all the way around, I'm going to do one flange of 30 and two. Again, this is gas, so I'm not really worried about having one Bezier surrounding. It's just for the example. So I have a 30 and two. I was kind of diving into this gap here. So if I look at my current gap here, from here to there, you can see that the flange is diving down to here to this uh, line that's two mils from the top. So now I can just ask for a quick rad. So if I do a chordal fillet that I did before, a 10 and five, uh, 10, uh, 10 mil chordal fillet from, from here to here. So it gives me the acceleration towards the gap, which is what I want. So here I have this half done with accelerated surface. So now I can ask to accelerate this edge here and I'm going to ask for the same thing, 30 and two. So here do it there and you can see I'm actually short. So what I can say is first of all, I'll flip it. And then secondly, you can say add surfaces click on that, add this one. And now I have a full color around those surfaces that are diving again towards the, uh, the gap. So now if I isolate those two and if I ask for a quick chordal fillet of 10 and there we go. So now if I, and I could clean this up here to make this a little more palatable, maybe edge align. There we go. So now I have a full setup of accelerated surface from one side to the other. So you can see how the acceleration happens here towards the rad and then down into the gap. Same on the other side, you accelerate your surface towards the gap and put a rad. And this will tend to make your surface look a lot better. Okay, so I brought the uh, surfaces out into v rays so we can look at them a little better and I put them quote unquote outside. So here you can see the parting line with the regular uh, radius and draft. And then if I toggle over to the accelerated surface, you can see how you have a better definition of the surface, especially if a bigger core on the outside, that's where the acceleration happens. So this is me toggling between the unaccelerated surface regular surface and the accelerated surface. To prove another point, I brought uh, another example from Barry Kimball. So here you can see the difference in this part of the end between the no acceleration surface and the acceleration surface. And that concludes it for this demo. Once again, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.